the poems that I'm going to be starting with um, all to do with kind of water in some way. And um, this one was written as, as part of a kind of project that I sometimes do with a group of poets just online where we write um, a sonnet every day. Um, this one, I believe, is a sonnet crown, if I remember correctly. So it's just like a series of sonnets, so it's much longer than one sonnet. Um, and it's quite new. Um, and yes, yeah, so I don't have a title. It starts with the kettles exhaling, exhaling steam, the small click sound, the automatic pour. Next we cue the television program's theme, routines repeated hundreds of days before, the tea infused and the sugar stirred in. Ne then next we add to the milk, four pints, semi-skimmed, squeeze the tea bar bag out, place in the food waste bin. It's the time of year where the sky's light is dimmed, the day never seems to come, just a big mass of this grey cloud hanging heavy in the sky. We drink our tea, contemplate greenhouse gas, watch the news that cannot help but make us cry. It collects first in the corner of our eyes, our eyelids like flower petal, petals cupping dew. It seems to catch us like always by surprise, a rainbow of colours, but today it looks blue. A mere blind could send a tear. I'm so, I don't know if I've read this loud before, I'm like, what is this? Um, <laughs> um, a mere something, like, does that make sense? Could send a tear from eye to chin, and from there, who knows how far it could travel. <laughs> I'm still thinking, what is this? <laughs> I that three days <laughs> a deep breath, and maybe you can keep it in, but there are some days you can't help unravel. So let it out like you let out laughter. Let redness come, let makeup run, let it out. Crying is natural, it's not a disaster. It's salt can heal you even after a drought. The railway lines reflect the rivers of this green country, this divided island, this home of streams through fields and cities, vomit and piss. Here we see history that's older than stone. Passing through this land is stillness of lakes. Birds gather around free of human hands. And if you're lucky, the cloud might start to break, the sun to spread its shine across the lands. The lake ripples and glistens in the sun's light as the carriage pulls away from this moment. It's constant as train timetables day and night. The world keeps turning, the rivers keep flowing. After long days and long journeys, the time comes to wash away the dust of the day, detox the soul, exhale the bad thoughts, shake off the crumbs, deal with what you can, leave the rest in a box. Let the water runneth over my body, like my absent lover's hands, a little left of my skin's memory, cover me in poppies so I can sleep no longer bereft. We have dreamt of each other, but keep distance, shower separately, imagine in secret. I close my eyes, see you in the bath, glistening. I soak there, wondering how long I can keep it. The night falls as it does. I too collapse under the cover of darkness, enveloped in my bed sheets. It's time to relax, reflect how the day or the year has developed as we near the end towards another fresh start and the rain begins its own cleansing routine. I divide up my life analyze each part for how I can work towards tomorrow's dream. Droplets of water splash on the window pane, and I am dry and warm and thankful for that. I am glad for each new day to try again, for my heart reflects the rain's rat-a-tat-tat. -tat.